Hi, I'm gonna, this is, it's not really a repeat of a different one, but it's uh, similar to another one. So it's about the text module in your welding. So if I want to weld this end, let's say you're not worried about these being uh, labeled properly on the drawings. You can just, we can just hit the weld symbol and collect the two plates and just weld that. And I, you can, you can now they're attached. But if you want to be more technical about it, you want to put in your weld. I want to weld these two together. I want a 316 weld. Right click up here on the top. You can click on the continuous. So I want this to be continuous. Go to additional data. Put in typical. Right click on the top again. Click on text module. there you go so now this is going to have these two connected so i want this to be labeled and this to be labeled now i don't really need to i could just join this one into this weld symbol by using this here <coughs> and then this will come up as typical so we'll know on the drawing that these two should be the same weld but if you want to let's say this one is is different if you want this to be labeled also if you go back to your home tab and do label, select these two, select your center point, you can see the 316 has come in again. The continuous has come in again because this box is ticked. You can do the same for all these. There is one of these that doesn't work. I think it's the weld length or the pitch. One of these two don't work. And if I go to additional data, you'll see the typical come in again and that's because the text module is ticked so it's kind of a continuation from just be aware of these macros you can right click in a lot of them up top and it will store the data for the next time you use them all right i hope that helps